we have Mr. Johnny. Recently, he had taken a tour of this place. This place is known as the roof of the world. Well, can you tell me the original name of this place? Well, the original name of this place is Tibetan Plateau. Well, the average elevation of this plateau is more than 4,500 meters. So, this plateau is the highest and largest plateau in the world and therefore, it is referred to as the roof of the world. So, now let us understand what type of landform is a plateau. Well, a plateau is a highland with a flat top and steep slopes. See here we have a picture of a plateau and here we can see that this landform has a flat top and steep edges. So now can you link this landform with any of the object that you see around you? Yes, a plateau looks like a table and due to this reason a plateau is also known as a table land because it looks like a flat top table that is it has a flat top with steep edges just like a table. So due to this reason a plateau is also known as a table land. Now in this picture we can see that a plateau has been placed in between two mountains. So can you point out the difference between these two types of landforms? Well, here we find that mountains are more elevated that is mountains have higher elevation than plateaus. Also mountains have a peak or a summit whereas plateau on the contrary have a flat top. So the major difference between these two landforms is that mountains have relatively higher altitude and they have a peak. Whereas plateaus relatively have lower altitudes and they have a flat top. Now this world map shows some of the major plateaus of the world. Some of the major plateaus of the world are Tibetan Plateau which is situated in the country of China. This Tibetan Plateau as we previously learnt about is the highest and largest plateau in the world and therefore it is also known as roof of the world. The second plateau here we can see is Deccan Plateau. Deccan Plateau is the part of Indian subcontinent and Deccan Plateau is one of the oldest plateau in the world. Next we have East African Plateau. East African Plateau as we can see here is situated in the eastern side of the African continent. And lastly we have Australian Plateau which is situated in the western side of Australia. So these are the major plateaus of the world. Now before we proceed with our lesson, let us see if we can answer this question. Which of the following plateaus is located in India? Is it Tibetan Plateau, Deccan Plateau, East African Plateau or Australian Plateau? Well, the correct answer is Deccan Plateau. Deccan Plateau is situated in India, whereas Tibetan Plateau is situated in China. East African Plateau, as its name suggests, is situated in Africa, whereas Australian Plateau is located in Australia. So, the correct option is Deccan Plateau. Now that we have understood the meaning of plateau, let us now discuss the importance of this landform. Well, here we have two maps. The first map shows the minerals that are found in India and the second map shows the plateaus of India. Now let us compare these two maps. Here we find that this is a mineral rich zone, this is another mineral rich region and this is another mineral rich region. And here we find that these mineral rich regions coincides with the major plateaus of India. For example, this region coincides with Malwa Plateau. Whereas this region coincides with Chota Nagpur Plateau. And thirdly, this region coincides with the major Deccan Plateau of India.
so from this we can infer that plateaus are very rich in minerals in fact they are storehouses of minerals so i just mentioned that plateaus are storehouses of different varieties of minerals now here we have some of the pictures of minerals that are widely available on the earth's surface and they are copper iron and gold well these minerals have high economic value and they are mostly found in the plateau regions well you must be knowing that landforms like plateaus are formed both by internal and external processes internal processes include volcanic eruptions so the plateaus that are formed due to volcanic eruptions are known as volcanic plateaus and these volcanic plateaus are rich in black soil now this map shows the distribution of black soil in india and this region coincides with the deccan plateau region now let me tell you that deccan plateau is an example of volcanic plateau and we can find that deccan plateau is rich in black soil now this black soil is very important for cultivation of cotton crops in fact black soils are very suitable for cotton cultivation so we learn that plateaus are not only rich in minerals but they are also helpful for cultivation of cotton crops plateaus also offer mesmerizing sights of waterfalls This is because plateaus as we know have a flat top and steep edges. So swift flowing rivers fall down from a great height and leads to formation of various waterfalls. Now some of the famous waterfalls that are present in India are Hundru Falls. Now here we find that Hundru Falls is located in the Chota Nagpur region. Where is another famous waterfall located in India is Jog Falls and it is situated in Deccan Plateau region. So here we find that plateaus due to its topography offer beautiful sights of waterfalls. So in today's lesson we first understood the concept of plateaus. Plateau referred to a highland which has a flat top with steep edges and a plateau resembles a table therefore it is also known as a table land then we discussed about some of the major plateaus of the world and we also discussed about the importance of plateaus so this brings us to the end of today's discussion on plateaus don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now